Hi, I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Today's video is a requested video and it was requested by Andrea and by Grace and it is on my entire David German jewelry collection. So let's get started. The first piece I'm gonna show you is actually not in my collection anymore, very sadly. Hopefully that will focus. Um, this was my most favorite Yerman piece I've ever owned. It is the Renaissance Link bracelet and it alternates with um, Hampton Blue and Swiss Blue Topaz. And when we were in our apartment for a couple of months, I put most of my jewelry in a safety deposit box because there was no security in that apartment. There was a deadbolt that who knows how many people had access to. So I just moved it all. When we picked everything up and I was unpacking it, that's the one piece that was missing. Of course, your most favorite piece is the one that's missing, right? <laughs> so maybe I'll be able to find one again. It's been retired for a long time, but that was my favorite piece. So Grace had mentioned uh, wanting to get her first piece. So I'm gonna start with the bracelets that I have because I think um, that is how I started with David Yerman with a bracelet. I think. The bracelets, um, they stay so classic. He keeps the same designs going in a lot of them, you know, for since he started, especially, you know, like his cable classics. So I think that's a really good place to start. So I'm gonna start with my cable classic cuffs. So my first one is um, Black Onyx with the 18 karat gold. And the Onyx is the little end caps. And it has the twisted design on the cable. And this is a size small. Um, I had this custom ordered from Neiman Marcus. I also got it in the pearl. They usually carry the pearl um, without having to be custom ordered, but any other colors you need to. I have five and a half inch wrists and um, I love bracelets and they don't love me back. So it was nice to be able to get those so I also have it in the gold end caps and these come in a rainbow of colors so you can pick your favorite gemstone or you can pick just gold and silver and these I think would be you know a really good place to start and they come in different sizes and here's what they look like stacked together just kind of hard to get it to focus that way. Let me try it maybe like that. There we go. And then I have um, the cable classic bangle that goes all the way around and has the little hook closure. See that better like that? And that has the 18 karat gold, just a little ring on both sides. This was a gift from my husband one year. And I liked this one so much that I got the exact same bracelet um, with diamonds. And I say with diamonds loosely <laughs> on this piece. They're really kind of like little microchips. You don't get a lot of diamonds. <laughs> just to show you the gold next to the diamond. To get it to focus. And more microchip diamonds. This one is the, um, the Infinity um, diamond uh, cable bracelet. And I will forget the names on some of these because I've had some of them so long. This one's very, very dainty. To show you the difference in the millimeters on the two. It's very, very petite, lightweight. I'll wear this one next to a watch because it's so much smaller. I don't worry about it scratching up a watch, whereas these are, these are really quite heavy. They're pretty chunky. Then, uh, more Cable Classic Cuffs. These I probably shouldn't have bought. They're really too big for me. Um, 
but you'll see that I have them on in a lot of my videos anyways um, I love them they're big and chunky and I went with onyx and it has the gold around there too and I went with my birthstone pearl and plus black and white just go with everything so you can see I kind of have a lot of the black and the white theme going on and show you what they look like on me I have my face it seems to focus better so it wants to focus on my face <laughs> but they really are I don't know they're, they're too big they're not altogether very comfortable to me compared to I'll show you the small ones on see that's what they do they'll start to turn and they want to come off and whereas the small ones just work a lot better I'll do the the onyx and the pearl and that too just a much better fit they don't move quite as much and they don't turn well a little bit <laughs> Then I got um, the Waverly Cuff. These shirts do not like my shoulders. They want to keep coming up. <laughs> the Waverly Cuff in the Blue Topaz. Blue Topaz is my favorite of you know, the semi-precious colors. And I love this one. It has a hinged opening. And these run smaller than these quite a bit. And these do not come in sizes but you can see how much bigger the classic one is than the Waverly. The Waverly's are very comfortable. They fit me very good. This does not want to focus today. The sun is going in and out and it's like sunny, cloudy, so I don't know if that has something to do with it. And I like that so much. I also got it. <laughs> in the hematite actually i think i got the hematite first and i liked this one so much i got the blue topaz but just a really pretty silvery gray and then this shirt is going to drive me crazy i'm going to quit wearing these shirts in videos <laughs> then uh, my husband bought me i think this is called the spiritual bead um, bracelet and he got it for me on, I think, our 20th anniversary. Yep, there's 20 beads. So it was one of the gifts he gave me because there was 20 beads. And I love this one. It's on a box chain, a very petite box chain, which are very, very sturdy. David Yerman does the best box, ch uh, box chains. And there's the little clasp. And then his signature is on the back. I'm not sure if I can get that to show up. But you take these two little, he has the little quatrefoils. And you pull them. And you can make it as small or as loose as you need it to be. I mean, it goes really quite big and quite small. So I like that one because it's, it's very, very comfortable on. That's what that one looks like. And I like to stack this one with the um, the Waverly as well. They go good together. And the other one that I like to stack with these, I'm forgetting the name of this. This is actually still on the website and a current piece. It is a, a link bracelet that alternates um, with black ceramic and then um, the smooth links and then the cable or the twisted links. And I got this one because I have a black uh, Chanel watch and the black ceramic and this goes really pretty with it. I think you'll be able to see it better if I clasp it and hold it like that maybe. There, that's better. But I like wearing these three together. Just 
doesn't want to focus for me today. There we go. Then probably my one of my my most favorite other than the one that I lost bracelet that I have is this one which is a um, eight rows of box chain and this top one crosses from the top to the bottom which is really really pretty when it's on it's just a little different and the clasp has David Yerman on it and it clips in through there there's his signature on the back. Well, just a stamp on this one, not a signature. That's going to show. But this one just hooks in like this. And it's so comfortable. And for being a really bold, chunky bracelet, it's super, super comfortable because of those box chains. So let's see, let's get into necklaces. So I got, I think I got, I got this necklace first. I got the bracelet to go with this necklace. This is no longer being made um, either, but it is a really good match to this bracelet. This is the same width and chunkiness in a three row necklace of the box chains and it has adjustability there's four loops here that you can stick the toggle through and let's see if i can get that to hang right there we go love this one I love that it just works with every neckline because of the adjustability and really, really pretty with the bracelet too. Then I have the David Yerman wheat chain. He still makes a wheat chain, but not this one. Um, I think the one that is currently on the website is um, a thinner millimeter. I believe this one was four or six. I'm not positive but just really pretty and the clasp on it is just beautiful nice and chunky and I got this because I had a few enhancers that I was wearing on the three strand box um, that I wanted to just wear on a little bit of a more uh, simple chain so I have the um, I'm totally blinking out the hematite, <laughs> the Albion hematite. I'm trying to think of two things at once and it's not working today. And an enhancer, if you don't know, is just a pendant where the little clip lifts up so that you can put it on to any kind of chain. It makes it really easy because it'd be hard to get it over that big clasp on this one. But that's really cool. And then I also have a blue topaz enhancer. And this one has diamonds in the center and on the four edges around the diamonds, sapphires. And again, lifts up in the back. And the back of his pieces are usually really beautifully finished. So this is what this one looks like on here. Then I don't know if he still does this every year or not, but um, for a while he was doing a piece every beginning of October for the breast cancer awareness. And um, I picked this one up several years ago and it is the Infinity Collection and it is a rose quartz and a necklace. And um, 
It's a very, very soft, soft pink. And it comes on a very dainty little box chain. And this one has his little signature dangling quatrefoil. I can pronounce that maybe. And it has the adjustable clasp where you can make the necklace shorter or longer. That's a really pretty piece. My favorite necklace is this one, which is a mother of pearl heart with diamonds around it. This one actually has diamonds. I cannot remember the carat weight, but there's an actual carat weight on this. They're a little bit bigger than chips and it has a really chunky um, box chain, which is adjustable as well. And I like to wear this one with my pearl bracelets and like the details on his pieces. That will show, see like even the side has the cable all the way around it. He just does such a nice job. The back is just high polished. Then another infinity piece. This matches the um, diamond bracelet. Uh, my husband got me the um, matching necklace. Really, really cute. And I love this one for vacation. I bring this a lot, those two pieces, just because they're neutral, they go with everything. And this also has the adjustable chain. And I've gotten to where I try not to bring a lot of jewelry when I'm traveling because, you know, just keeping up with everything. So I try to bring just something that'll match anything. Of course, diamonds do that. Even if they're chips, they still match. <laughs> and then my next one is, um, what was it called? It was a classic Figaro cable heart necklace, I believe was the name of this one. And it has the 18 karat gold around the um, sculpted heart and it is not removable. And the back of it has DY and little hearts on it. And this one has a toggle closure. And then it alternates with the Figaro links with the, um, the round links. And this one is more of a choker link. I don't think they make this one anymore. And then this is a petite Albion um, blue topaz in the Swiss blue. His gemstones are so saturated. They're really, really beautiful. And this is also on a box chain, not adjustable. This one is just, it is what it is. And I got the same necklace in the garnet. And it is such a gorgeous, gorgeous red. It is hard to find really red garnet. I mean, this is just beautiful, beautiful shade of red. And uh, they both have diamonds around the edges. Let me show the blue again next to it. Oops, turn around, there we go. That works better, the sun is coming in. You can see the diamonds. But the garnet one does have the um, adjustable clasp or chain. I'm not sure why the blue topaz one didn't come with that. And then as for earrings, I only have one pair. I'm just gonna give up on this shirt here in a minute. <laughs> I don't know how I see people wear these all the time and they don't pop up on them. Maybe I need to do shoulder exercises. But um, these are the Renaissance link earrings that matched my bracelet that I don't have anymore. But it still matches my necklace, so. And for the most part, I kind of think his earrings are um, overpriced and I usually wear hoops anyways, so. That's why I only have the one pair. I always have 
hoop soon. So now let's see. Oh, I haven't done rings. So um, another Albion, a hematite. And goes very nicely with the enhancer. And this one has like a split shank down the side. I think that's what you call it. I'm not sure. <laughs> I might be wrong. And the DY logo right there. Really nice chunky ring. And this one, um, I can't remember. Sculpted cable dome ring, perhaps. <laughs> Maybe. And there's the little signature on the side. It's not picking that up. There we go. And this one's just nice, clean, and plain, and I love it with this bracelet and with the necklace. Just very simple. And then I have two blue topaz brace, uh, bracelets, um, rings, because I had one color to go match each of the stones of my bracelet. This one is the Infinity, and this is in the Hampton Blue, which is uh, the equivalent of, of what most jewelers would call London Blue. But his, um, or Hampton Blue, made specially for his company. Really, really pretty ring, and a little detail around the edges there. Oh, and I forgot to show you. I just wanted to show you the back of these little pendants. So we're talking about the details. It's just so pretty. I mean, the little hearts. I mean, nobody will ever see that but you, but it's, it's just a neat little touch. And then my final piece is a lighter blue topaz. And this one is an older piece when they were doing a lot of uh, yellow gold. And so both sides all the way down and on the tops our yellow gold. And that's what that one looks like on. And I think that is all of the pieces. And I thank you so much for tuning into a video. And I hope you liked it. And I would appreciate it if you would hit that subscribe button and a thumbs up. And I hope to see you back on my channel again very soon. Have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye-bye.